Okay, in this video, I'm going to go, everybody's, go over everybody's favorite kind of reaction, the combustion reaction. Now, a combustion reaction is when an element or a compound reacts, reacts with oxygen to form an oxide and produce heat. Now, before I get to the second definition, let's just uh, look here. And we can see, remember, in our previous video, we reacted magnesium metal with oxygen gas to produce magnesium oxide. So you can see here we have an element. We're reacting it with oxygen to produce an oxide. Now, in the previous video, we said that this was a synthesis reaction. But this reaction can also be considered a combustion reaction. So this reaction could either be synthesis or combustion. Now, the most common kind is when a hydrocarbon combusts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So here is what I would call the general form for that kind of reaction. We have a hydrocarbon. We have something that has composed of carbons and hydrogens, a chain of carbons with hydrogen around it. We're going to react that with oxygen, and then we're going to have as our products of that reaction um, water and carbon dioxide. So the most common kind of combustion reaction is hydrocarbon plus oxygen and the react and the products will always be water and carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's um, actually just look at a couple and see if we can balance them. We know we have here, uh, this is methane, CH4, and then we have oxygen, and then we have water and carbon dioxide. And we balance combustion reactions. The first thing we want to do is balance the carbons and the hydrogens, and the oxygens will do last. So we're going to do the carbons first. So you can see here we have one carbon and one carbon, so we don't need to do anything there. But here we have two hydrogens, and here we have four hydrogens. So therefore, we're going to have to add uh, a two in front of our water so that we have four hydrogens. We put a four there, put a two there. That gives us four hydrogens, four hydrogens, one carbon, one carbon, and then we have oxygen two places over here. So we're going to add up all the oxygen. So we can see two times one is two oxygens, and then we have two more oxygens over here which for a total of four. And we only have oxygen in one place over here, so we're going to have to put a two in here so that we, therefore, have four oxygens. Okay? So that's the combustion reaction for methane. Now here we have C5H12. This is pentane. And we have pentane reacting with oxygen to form water and carbon dioxide. Again, our typical products for our combustion reaction. Now let's balance this one. Here we have five carbons, so the only thing we can do is put a five over here. And then we have 12 hydrogens. Well, the only thing we can do is put a 6 right here to get 12 hydrogens. Now, that means we have 6 oxygens. And over here, we have 5 times 2 is 10 oxygens for a total of 16. So therefore, we're going to put an 8 right there like that. We'll give it 16. So that is the uh, balanced chemical equation for the combustion of pentane in oxygen. Now, of course, no combustion reaction video would be complete without some um, demos of some combustion reactions. So let's go and do some, and then we'll just come back and wrap things up. Okay, let's, uh, let's release some energy. Okay. Okay, we did all those. Those are really good. That's the, the methane mamba. That's uh, the hydrogen gas in the balloon. And we did the whoosh bottle. And uh, those are all really fun reactions to do. And everybody loves to light stuff on fire. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a good day. And we will see you next time.